I'm Tor Kenward, and uh, our winery is, strangely enough, Tor Kenward Family Wines. We're in St. Helena in the Napa Valley, and I've been in the Napa Valley and making wine for close to 32 years now. I work with three different Cabernet vineyards. This unique wine is the one occasion where I've combined two. If you walk Mast, which is down in Yonville, it doesn't look extraordinary until you start kicking the dirt a little bit deeper. When you get down into the soil, you notice that at one time this was a, a creek bed. And there's a huge amount of rock material in there. If you initially looked at the vineyard driving by, it's just a nice little slope like that. You wouldn't see all that rock. So this one block of grapes in Yonfield was much more concentrated than I th thought it would be. But it's a softness to it. The Howe Mountain Vineyard Chimarosa is completely different. The soils are very volcanic, they're red. The block that I choose to make my wine out of, probably the, the steepest part of the vineyard. So Yonville is like this, Chimarosa is like that. One's 2,100 feet high, the other is about 600 feet above sea level. The Yonville is big, oh geez, it's almost got red fruits to it, which is kind of rare. You get some black fruits, but it's got some red fruits to it. Spicy and a very fleshy middle mouthfeel. The, the Howe Mountain tends to have much more of that rock, granite, crushed earth, even for young wine, a little bit of that cigar box type of Bordeaux quality to it. But the finer tannins can give a wine that maybe is too fleshy one year, which I thought Mast was, by itself, it almost too much flesh, it gave it some backbone to it. Howe Mountain to me is known for almost the structure as much as it is its character. There is a real earthiness to it. There's more of that minerality. There's more of the finer grain tannins to it. A again, it's a wine that expresses itself on the palate as much as it does on the nose or anything else with those fine tannins. The wines on the western foothills, the eastern foothills, and the valley floor tend to be wines that have plusher middles, a little bit more roundness to them. When you're talking about mountain vineyards, the, the fog burns off earlier. You never even see the fog. So you can have one of those days where you're standing up on Howe Mountain, you're looking down at the valley floor, and from Calistoga all the way down to Napa, it's just one fog bank. And you, you don't have fog, and it's five o'clock in the morning. You can see why these wines are dramatically different. You get maybe a cooler overall climate up on the mountains, less fog, more sun, and different grapes.